Australian cyclist Matthew Gleitzer has overcome a diabolical equipment blunder to win gold in the men's 1000 meters time trial at the Commonwealth Games. In ridiculous scenes team officials informed Gleitzer just hours before his race that the handlebars on his bike were not safe to compete, with on the international stage. At the 11th hour, the 29-year-old was forced to race with inferior handlebars that could cost him as much as 1.5 seconds, because they're not as aerodynamic but defied the odds to snare goal. The Commonwealth Games in Birmingham have been dramatic for Gleitzer, who was diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2019. He started off by capturing a gold medal in the men's team spring alongside Lee Hoffman and Matthew Richardson on the first day of the Games, before disaster struck in the second round of the Kirin event. Gleitzer clipped the back wheel of England's Doe Truman, with the pair both tumbling to the unforgiving Gilladrome board. Australian cyclist Matthew Gleitzer has overcome a diabolical equipment blunder to win gold in the men's 1,000 metres time trial at the Commonwealth Games. Both riders hit the surface at more than 70 kmh, with Truman losing consciousness on impact. Gleitzer managed to limp away with his thin race suit in tatters, while the local hope was given oxygen before being taken from the arena in a wheelchair. The Aussie suffered multiple abrasions as well as burns on his right side in the crash, and there were fears he wouldn't be in a position to defend the event he also won at the 2018 Commonwealth Games on the Gold Coast. When news filtered through Gleitzer would have to race with alternate handlebars in the time trial final, Aussie cycling legend Katie Bates felt the difference would be telling. Gleitzer then produced one of the great rides to take gold in the final ride of the event, relegating Aussie teammate Tom Cornish to silver. A fifth Commonwealth Games gold medal also sees Gleitzer equal with Ovi cycling icon Anna Miris for career gold medals won. The Commonwealth Games in Birmingham have been dramatic for Gleitzer, who was also diagnosed with thyroid cancer in 2019. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot believe what I'm seeing here, Bates said after Gleitzer's heroics. That was absolutely staggering. This is becoming the Dullodrome, where records are broken and dreams are made. Our cycling executive general manager of performance, Jesse Korf defended the controversial handlebar decision stating the safety of athletes is always the priority. This decision is reflective of a new and thorough approach to long-term engineering excellence competitive success and athlete welfare he said in a statement. Richardson was the first Aussie to hit the track and recorded an impressive 1 a.m.152. Cornish then pushed himself into first place with a 1 a.m.036 before Gleitzer crossed the line in a scintillating 59.505. On Monday, Gleitzer was denied a bronze medal following marginal contact with his opponent in the men's sprint race. Officials spent over an hour reviewing footage before ruling Gleitzer has interfered the run of Scotland's Jack Carlin, who was then awarded third place. Many cycling experts were stunned at the outcome, with Bates labeling it an absolute travesty. Thank you.